uh, Robert, just what would you think about your weekend? I guess that they couldn't get you out today, and it was really kind of that way all weekend. And then that play where you took third on Kerstadt's walk, have you ever done that before? And kind of what did you see there? Um, you know, kind of pretty heads, heads up play. Um, I feel like I kept my same approach as I did last weekend. I got a few to drop, um, which helped. Um, but like I said yesterday, slowing things down and breathing in the box. And uh, Casey's really helped me a lot with slowing things down. It keeps reminding me to uh, keep the game slow and don't speed it up. Um, as far as the uh, play where I took third base, I remember a play where I was watching the Royals a few years ago and the shift really became popular and um, a player took third base. And so I was just looking for it and knowing that Goodhart was up next, they're going to stay in the shift. So, Casey, how good was it to finally see one go over? <laughs> yeah, it was actually uh, really good to see, honestly, considering um, I kind of been up and down, um, kind of starting off a little sluggish. So uh, even though I only had one hit today, um, you know, it was just good to see, took good swings on good pitches. Um, it's just making progress, honestly, taking a day at a time. Um, but, you know, with our offense, um, you know, you could have a guy like Mir Hessen that won't really have a good weekend and knowing that we can still score runs without, I guess you could say, top guys uh, like us. I mean, it's it's great to see. I mean, that should tell you a lot about um, our team and our offense that we have. It kind of looked like you guys were having a party in the dugout after that home run. What was that like? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Everybody's excited because you know we we've been waiting on uh, it to break out. And um, Opit said, been on me a little bit yesterday, messing with me. And then today he was like, I'm in your corner, um, acting like we were boxing or something. He's, I come in the dugout and he'll take my hat off and squirt some water in my mouth and take a towel and dab my forehead. But uh, no, it was it was definitely exciting to see uh, the support from these guys. Marshall, just kind of what was your mindset with the jam you inherited and, and what were you throwing to, to strike them out? Uh, just attack mode, you know, fill up the zone, and just off-speed pitches. That's what we'd been going at them all week, and they weren't hitting it well, so that's what I went with. Yeah, Casey, was it a fastball you hit out, or what was that? Yeah, it was fastball uh, up and in. And sorry, who was it that was doing all that stuff in the dugout? Opus. Opus. <laughs> yeah, he's a clown. Um, what did what, what, you think of, of, of Robert's weekend? Um, honestly, you know, him skipping his, you know, his senior year of high school to come in early and play with us, um, he's really taken, um, I guess, the approach that we have and how we play ball here. And, um, you know, being 17 years old and doing and accomplishing what he has here, it's uh, it, it's been awesome. Um, you know, you don't see a lot of guys that are open to that kind of stuff because um, they're so young and immature. But um, he's definitely maturing and taking in the type of ball that we play. And, um, you know, all the guys on the squad, you know, they're, they're supporting him. And it's good to see. And, uh, you know, he's responding the way he's playing. And it's it's awesome. He's a great asset for the team. I think, yeah, I think it was nine guys had hits today because Opitz had one off the bench. Just what did you think of the hitting up and down the lineup? And just what, what do you think about this lineup, what, what it's shown so far? You know, being a part of this offense for the past, you know, three years, um, you know, my freshman year, me and Heston stepped in, and we were with all those older guys. And what we accomplished with that team, and including the team last year, and then you're looking at this lineup. Um, you know, we might hit more home runs, we might not. Um, but you know, the ability to hit from top to bottom, um, I think at the end of the year, the stat line is going to show that you know, statistically, this team is better up and down the lineup. Um, you know, you, like you said, you look at Opitz, you know, coming off the bench. Uh, hasn't warmed up, hasn't stretched. Uh, he's what he was down five, six innings and came in. Um, you know, he he came in and he didn't just you know frown about it. He didn't complain about not getting enough time to stretch or warm up. Um, he got in there and went to work. And uh, you know that that's awesome. The the grit that this lineup has, uh, we could definitely do special things. Hey Marshall, oh sorry, Nate. I guess for both infielders, just the job that that uh, Marshall did because game's on the line. You got a couple, you know, a couple of runners on, nobody out with the three strikeouts. Um, I can also say, you know, I grew up playing with Angus um, Marshall. Um, sorry, um, you know, 
in high school and, and travel ball and we travel with each other and play and uh, seeing what he's accomplished here it's been awesome but I tell you there wouldn't be um, another guy that'd rather put him in that situation and he came down and um, he came in and did his thing and uh, did what was asked of him and um, you know we need more guys like him I hope that rubs off a little bit on our, our pen because he came in and uh, he put it he put it to him he threw a lot of strikes and that's all we could ask and uh, he was very effective got ahead early and uh, didn't get behind in counts, which worked to his advantage. And, um, you know, he threw the ball like we knew he could. And, you know, th that's a good lineup over there, honestly. Um, Gonzaga has a, a great lineup. They're an older team. And, um, you know, seeing what Marshall did, you know, that's that's awesome. And that that's progress for us. Um, but, you know, he put it to him, and, you know, a lot of the guys were excited. So, like I said, I just hope it rubs off on our, our pen, honestly. I've only been here a few weeks, um, but – what I know is when you hear his walk up or his intro song come in, it's a good feeling. So, you know, he's he's nails and um, looking when he came in, I saw there was three right handers coming up. I'm like, oh, okay, we got this. So we're either going to get a ground ball double play or he's going to strike out the side and he did it. Hey, Robert, I'm sure you're were, you were confident, you know, coming here, but a weekend like this, how, does, how much does that boost your confidence as a young guy? Um. Confidence level, yeah, it boosts it a little bit, but um, you just got to stay level. I mean, baseball season is highs and lows and extremes of both, and uh, just take the same approach each day. And whether you had success the day before or uh, a lot of failure the day before, just you got to wipe it out of your brain as soon as you come to the ballpark because uh, you realize every day brings new challenges, and uh, you got to prepare your mind um, for those and um, just – Staying humble and don't let egos get the best of you because this game is really hard. And um, like you've seen, you know, it, you can be really good one day and really bad the next. So, can you talk a little bit about playing in at Houston's Park this weekend and just the competition you're going to go up against for both of us. You go first? Um, well, I know we faced um, OU for the exhibition uh, in the fall, and uh, so we we kind of know. You know what we're getting into. Um, you know the starter that they're going to bring in. Um, the first game, uh, I got a chance to see him down at the USA tryouts uh, with Elvitz and Heston, and uh, yeah, he'll probably sit 96, 97, 98. Uh, he's got a good arm. He's got good stuff, uh, obviously, because um, he made the roster. But you know, you know, playing at the park, I know we're going to have a lot of fans come out and um, you know support us. Uh, you know, those are, you know, three three good teams um, you can't really take for granted. Um, so, you know, it's, it's our conference versus theirs. And um, so everybody's going to be playing to win. You know, it's not just going to be like we're just going to throw whoever out there and let them meet up innings. Like, you know, we're going to put our best out there, and I know they'll put their best. So, you know, along with the fans coming, like we're definitely going to need the support. But, um, you know, I hope we keep our heads on straight after this weekend. And uh, we get back to work uh, in the week coming. And then when we travel down there, um, I just hope we uh, continue to work and get better and do what we did this weekend. Uh, my official visit weekend was whenever they played Oklahoma. And seeing that arm and seeing those arms they had and the position players they had, um, it will be a good challenge for us. Um, you know, we'll prepare for it. I know we'll be prepared. And um, obviously, Texas and Baylor are uh, very good op opponents. And um, we'll be prepared. In Houston, actually, um, I have family in Houston. So uh, when the Royals used to play the Astros, we used to go to those games. Hey, Robert, has anybody given you a nickname on the team yet? I think a lot of people in the community are referring to you as the kid, and I didn't know if they'd given you one yet. I've heard a lot. I've heard Minor. I've heard Teacup. Uh, I've heard Pip Squeak. I've heard, uh, you know, the movie Bench Warmers. I am 12. They had that on the back of my shirt a few days ago. Um, I've heard the kid. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess whatever people want. Marshall, you know, Dave said he thought the, uh, got a lot of questions answered about the pitching staff this weekend. How, how do you feel about the, the bullpen? Yeah, uh, our bullpen's pretty solid, I'd say. I'd say if we can come in and just pound the zone, I think we give ourselves the best chance of, out of anybody. So uh, we got a lot of live arms down there. It's just a question of, can we come in and fill up the zone? And when we do, we're very successful. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.